Welcome back. It's time for us to talk about um, crossing the nomination from Cost Hardo. Um, it, it's a big part of the conversation with regards to elections in this country. Um, uh, the Senate on March 30th passed the Electoral Act. Uh, one of the things it would do when signing into law is to abolish arbitrary fees for nomination forms fixed by political parties. But um, from all indications, that's still going on. <laughs> and it looks like uh, a lot of the parties have even increased the price of their forms. Well, have you with me. God bless Utubara and Fola Daniel to let's talk about this. Um, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Um, I think it was the PDP, or no, the APC, uh, who uh, proposed a million naira for the state assembly, 3.3 million for House of Representatives, that's the Federal House of Representatives, 8.5 million for the Senate. 22.5 million for the governorship and 55.5 for the presidential nomination form. Now, I remember very well that in 2015, President Muhammadu Buhari famously claimed that he borrowed uh, money to pay for his nomination forms, and it was 25 million then. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, he hasn't operated any businesses since then. I don't know if his salary in the last four years would be able to afford him uh, this form. Are we going to go borrowing again? I don't know, but what are your thoughts on this? Um, well, um, it's, for me, I think it's a shame that as a people, we are literally aware of our problems and we have decided not to solve it. If the Senate has passed a bill to say that this shouldn't happen and it's still happening, then it's a shame. And to think that uh, we are shutting out people who should be part of our democratic process because of arbitrary fees like this, I think it's a shame on the people who are running the country at, uh, you know, at the moment at all levels. And as young people, as members of the Not Too Young to Run um, here in Lagos and across the country, we are standing against this current trend uh, by both the APC, the PDP, uh, PDM, all of them. We are not in support of what is happening and we're calling on their chairman and all the executives to say, if you don't review this, you have Nigerian youths to deal with. But isn't it also true that, I mean, a lot of these parties need this or might need this to raise funds for themselves? Um, if you open the door and say, okay, anybody come and run for president, you know how things can be. As much as, as, much as it may not necessarily be the most uh, convenient or the best way to go about it, it's also a way of sort of putting a bridge to say, okay, you need to meet a certain criteria mm. to be able to come into this game, but also for the parties to raise some money to run their party, isn't it? Okay, now when the issue of the Not Too Young to Run campaign started and people were agitating for bringing down the age for eligibility into public office, I said, well, it's a good step in the right direction, but it's just one step out of a million. One of the things we need to do is to work and rework the funding process for elections, which includes funding the political parties. Why are we not using crowdfunding for our political parties as it is done in sane environments? Now, what it means is if you're going to ask for 23 million or 55 million, whichever the set of four in this election, it therefore means that our country, our future has already been sold to the highest bidder. Because anybody who is capable intellectually and in terms of <coughs> visions and passion automatically is disqualified if he doesn't have the money. But then the question is, how many business people, I mean, people who built a business from the scratch, would take 55 million from the coffers of the business and put it in an election without a guarantee of winning that election? So there's a problem generally with how we fund our elections and how people get into office. One of the things we should work towards is scrapping the issue of individuals funding an election or charging an individual that high because we are saying young people should come on board. How will the young people, how many young people can afford 55 million? Without any uh, intention to insult anyone, the question is for how long have you worked and how much have you saved up to be able to so, afford? So would, it, would it be better if they said, okay, I, mean, like we, we, I think we, it was the PDP who did that in the past where they would say, okay, this is our nomination fee, form fee, mm -hmm. but women are exempt. Would it be better if they said, okay, young people, you don't pay anything or pay 
25% of the fee. Does that then make the payment okay? So this is what we have done. If you look at what the Not Too Young to Run has done, and, and, and I think it's important that we state it, it's beyond re reducing the age to run for office. It's about the process of really creating a society that works. A social contract where I know that I'm in office today not because I've spent so much money, but because I want to serve and the system has made it possible. We have been clamoring on August 8th. We went to all the political parties in this country. We, I led the people that went to the APC's office. We spoke to the SDP people and we said, look, for you to show that you care about the future of this country, reduce the cost for these forms. We're asking for 200,000 for young people, youth who wants to run for office. Okay, let me give a, a, a very broad scenario. I graduated from the University of Benin, and I ran for office as a for student union government while I was in school. Guess what, you, what, what Uniben does? You cannot print colored posters to run for a student union office in Uniben. You can't publicize your campaign online. You can't use extra, extra vagrant means to publicize your campaign. Talk to the people, let them vote for you. You can only print black and white. Do you know why? We are reducing the cost of the process. So when you get into that office, you are not looking for monies because you have not, I can tell you that what I spent, Ebuka, to win SUG election in school was less than 50,000 naira. 